I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with director Sam Kay. So the Voyager Diaries, tell me a little bit about how you first became interested in this spacecraft, the Voyager. I've had a particular fondness for planetary science ever since I was four or five years old. And uh, a lot of the images that I saw are courtesy of the Voyager's cameras of the outer gas giant planets, Jupiter through Neptune. Um, my interest in it as a subject for film came about probably somewhere between 2005, 2006, when Pluto was redeclared a dwarf planet. Not only that, but the, the announcement of various other planetary bodies, even further out, were announced. And it got me interested in what exa where exactly does the solar system end? And would Voyager have seen all these things on its way out of the solar system? Mm -hmm. And so the idea for a particular kind of short film just went through my head. It was like a uh, 3D amusement park kind of ride with the moving chairs where you are sitting on Voyager and traveling across celestial bodies and asteroids and rocky debris out of the solar system and maybe even land on a planet and you know lots of little extraterrestrial eyes are looking at you. Wow. I thought that'd be an interesting ending. But again, I kept it in the back of my mind for years and years and years. And after I graduated from film school, I had this urge, I made a couple of um, space related projects there and I had this urge to remake one of them, which was kind of a ballet of light and shadow in space, and it rekindled my interest in Voyager 1, the spacecraft. So, okay, so for those who, who clearly know a lot about space, which is awesome, but for those like me who know less about space, um, how would you, in, you know, in simple terms, how would you describe uh, the Voyager? Obviously, it's a sp spacecraft that's going through space, but what's, like, the goal of the Voyager? What's it really doing? Well, that's a very interesting question. Uh, Voyager is an extraordinary piece of technology. It houses uh, dozens and dozens of instruments designed to measure electromagnetic waves and other measurements. And uh, I decided I needed to treat this as a character, a character on a journey. And I sort of viewed it as a combination of Wally and Forrest Gump, because you know, as a robotic, it's not human like Wally, but uh, like Forrest Gump, it does exactly what it's told to do, and it's unbiased and objective, and it just takes measurements and does whatever it's programmed to do. Mm -hmm. So I had to treat it as a character when I was uh, designing the journey it would take. Interesting. And you were able to get Chris Holden Reed from Lost Girl on board as the narrator. So what was it like working with Chris? Oh, working with Chris. He's a really bad dancer, by the way. <laughs> True enough. He also makes terrible space sound effects, oh. which we were in some of our outtakes. Uh, Chris, working with Chris was like working with the voice of God. And we did it in uh, two or three hours, a recording session, very quickly, very professionally. And I couldn't have imagined doing it with anyone else once we heard his voice. It was phenomenal. It sounds really good in the film. I mean, I know he, I knew he had a good voice, but... I wouldn't have necessarily, had I not known it was him, known it was him. It's amazing. True enough. Yeah. As I was telling Chris at the time, uh, the voice needs to resemble kind of a eulogy for a hero's funeral in that you're celebrating a life and mourning a death at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because the Voyager, or its latest achievement, which is kind of the pinnacle of the movie, is that it is the first man-made spacecraft to officially exit the solar system, you know, a dozen plus billion miles away from Earth, and it's still going on, and it's not going to stop. Wow. So will it ever come back? Uh, nope. It just keeps <laughs> on going on. The second it was launched, it just propelled outwards. Wow. So, so it's just sent into space, and it just keeps going. That's right. I mean, it was launched at a time when the planets would be in the right position so that their gravity would hook it temporarily and it could do a loop around and take photographs and then on to the next one and the next one, that's the domino effect. But I was interested in the uh, portion of its journey which was after that phase in the uh, beginning of the 1980s where it began its, what Carl Sagan called the interstellar mission. Interesting, okay. And uh, do you think there will be a sequel to this uh, short film? Is your next project also gonna be about the Voyager or is there another aspect of space that you wanna investigate? Yes, I am particularly fond of space science because I find it to be all-encompassing and it covers everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 
a subject above also a subject. So yeah, I am particularly interested in working with Earth and Space Science as a subject for upcoming projects. Cool. And what did you study in university? I'm just super curious. Did you take film or did you study science as well? Oh, I studied film in university and I worked with some of my homies on this project. A <laughs> uh, number of us have continued to produce in our spare time Great. and I enjoy doing it and I like collaborating. Awesome. And I got a, a lot out of my collaborators on this movie. Great. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and the film and you know where we can see it online? Well, my partner Jeffrey and I have a little uh, studio called Cove. Like most independents, we do commercials, but we're moving into films now. So Cove Productions, Cove with a K, mm -hmm. is you'll find us if you'll Google us. Great. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations, and it's great to see you again. Great to see you, too. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Thanks for watching the show. If you like it, please, please subscribe. Also, when I'm not interviewing, I am an actress. And if you would like to check out some of my acting, you can click here. Uh, thanks again, guys.